Hey everybody, I'm Tyler Edlin and welcome back to another episode. So in this one, uh, XP Pen was kind enough to send over the Artist 15.6 Pro. So I'm going to be demoing this. I'm going to try a new illustration and painting. I'm going to show my general process and some advanced tricks with that. And I'll be letting you know what I think about this tablet. If you stick to the end, of course, there will be a more formal unboxing of it. So let's begin. All right, so I want to catch you guys up a little bit of what I'm covering here, and I do cover this a little bit more in-depthly on YouTube here in the previous video. Definitely recommend checking that out if you missed it. So essentially, I did a color sketch starting in Photoshop. This was a demo and part of my Color in Light course available through the site listed below. And so what I usually like to do is just grab some references, as much of it you know, real-world based as I can, do an interpretive sketch, see how I want to push that. In this case, I was like, all right, let's go with a coral or coastal theme base golem. And that eventually led to like, oh, we, well, we need a friend. So I'm going to add in a little bit of a summoner or some kind of enchantress, right? some kind of girl that's going to bring this thing to life. Originally, as you could see in the sketch here, they were kind of just, she was looking at him a little bit more generically. Eventually, of course, I do change that up, have them taking a stroll on the beach together. Then what I ended up doing is bringing this into the VR in one of my class demonstrations a week ago. And so I was sculpting using voxels and Adobe's Medium program. And I made a very quick model of them. It took no more than 40, 45 minutes. And then I brought that into Blender in which I applied lighting and a camera to set up the composition. And that's kind of what you see here. And then essentially that's going to lead us into the main demo where we're going to be painting and testing out the tablet here. Again, any, so if you have any questions on any of these previous steps that I'm kind of glazing through right now, I have loads of videos covering this stuff. Most of it is in the previous video, but don't hesitate to ask in the comments. So let's get into this. All right, guys. So I have the XP pen all set up. I've been testing it, you know, on some files. I have some of the HUD keys all set up and everything is like zoom in, zoom out. There also is, you know, undo, which I use a lot, but I had set this one up here. This is a particular case up for option, which is alt right on Mac here. And it should eyedropper. See, I have, but it, it, since it doesn't work, it will, it registered it, but in the app itself, which might be an app problem, I couldn't get it. So I have to keep the keyboard kind of close so I can use one of the primary functions that I do it with. And yeah, I, I've run you guys up to, to speed what I'm going to be doing with this image here. So I'm going to be painting over it, kind of taking it forward, you know, just basic edit imaging and, and painting and creation, which is what I'm sure a lot of us would want to use the XP pen for. But in terms of like the surfacing, you know, the, the feeling and the, the tension and stuff on all that, I feel really good. Uh, I am a person that applies like pretty light pressure. So I went into the settings, right, which is an option. I, I've been leaving it open here. You guys can see what it looks like. And ascent, uh, essentially with this, I have it set much softer. So what, what's great about this is I can barely put a little bit of pressure on it and it will get the full kind of opacity. By default, I have to press like a lot firmer on it, which I'm, you know, some of you do like and prefer, but it's, it's a great that it's an option there. I see people burn through these nibs, right? Quite frequently when they have to do that, they, they leave scratches, not a, on, on like, you know, very expensive surfaces. So I just like to put like a light amount of pressure and get a lot out of it. I have a light touch. So that's that's kind of the, the end of, of the, <laughs> the preface here. So let's get forward. So yeah, I got this cool golem, right? We, we sculpted him up in the, the VR. What do I have left to do? Well, I have to add a figure. I do want to do a good amount of painting and, and correction on this. I, I The general composition is going to be fine. We're going to repaint the sky. But like, let's sketch in pretty quickly some of the major changes that I would typically, you know, want to tackle on something like this. So the hands tool, I can move that over here and zoom in. Because I am typically used to like quite a bit of a larger screen, but for like my secondary setup here, yeah, I'm all about that. So uh, one of my favorite brushes I like to use is like a chalk brush, right? Like this, so you can kind of see it in there. You gotta do. But what I usually am probably gonna do is start to paint 
my way into this scene on a few different layers. So like anything in the foreground, right? Like these rocks, I'm gonna start painting like this and just kind of, you know, making a more bold, a little bit more clear of silhouettes. You know, these are very um, realistic. I went in coming from Blender, coming from this process, this is what it, it more or less yielded to me, a very realistic sort of rock. So what I wanna do is go back and just simplify things up quite a bit and start chiseling out a little bit more of stylized shapes. So like this is great over here, but I also want on the shadow side, like a very clear shape. And then I can brush into that the light, some of the core functions I like to do. See like this is barely overlapping. I do want to create more overlap. See like that. And then it's just a matter of getting in and working like that. I'll try to zoom in a little more than I typically do, just so you guys, the camera will pick it up a little better and just because um, it's a little smaller. So see like often enough, right, what I can do. I like to maximize overlaps in my scene creation. So see like before this was barely kind of creating a tangent with the wave back there in the water. So what I can do here is come through like that. And this is going to make a much more pro uh, pronounced sort of shape that's gonna create much more overlaps in the scene itself. So see, I just wanna color pick the base color that's there and I can come in and correct that shape. So I'm gonna do a bunch of that on the rocks and then I'll check back with you guys. So guys, with the blue, I can use whatever's set up here as the, um, the, the, the cloud, like the default cloud color and shape. And then I can get a little lighter and bluer in there. Yeah, see, I just like this nice graphic shape. Sometimes I do come back, like if I want to break that up right, a little bit, we could do something like that, make it look very natural. That's one of the other tricks I'm doing. See, we know, I know the figure is gonna be about right there and I do wanna balance everything out. I'll probably end up tossing either something behind her or something just as a counterweight kind of like this over here, just to balance that picture out. Another little trick I like to do is just to blur the top of a shape like that. Get a lot of focus, especially behind this, this dude. That'll look good, kind of like that. Now we just need some details in there. Um, we can solidify some of those details. Uh, I still wanna yeah, I still have to design the water. So we're gonna tackle that kind of next. We could put some basic clumpy shapes. Yeah, let's do that. Let's add a secondary pass on the mountains. See, it's about taking this as a shape, making some positive and negative spaces. Big, medium, and small shapes, textured versus simple. Right? I got videos, you guys missed it. Loads of contrast stuff. Something kind of like that. Now, let's say if we want to add a little bit yeah, more light to that. Sure, let's go try. I'm starting to overwork it. Uh, if we do zoom out and look at it, see, it's not like it's not terrible, but yeah, I'm just gonna simplify that for now. Just make it barely noticeable. I'll probably just do more of that, but that's kind of how I'm gonna tackle that. It's, you know, same with like the light on these rocks. If I want to just do that, I'll, I'll grab, you know, one of my favorite uh, brushes and just go in there and paint the light into the shape. That's the, the trick that I'm gonna repeat throughout, you know, as I continue, right, as I continue to kind of push this. So I just like, gotta find a nice lighter, slightly warmer shape, maybe like a little bit more purple, stuff like that. Just less is more with stuff like this. So if I can just find a nice, clean, right, elegant shape to put back there, it's gonna work. Like that, like that. Part of what I was doing down here earlier was just, it was too complex. Complex to a fault. See, the second I keep that quite a bit simpler, it works that much better. Slight tangent there, we're gonna work 
work that out after. All right, now that we have most of this situated, I, I fussed a lot with the, the ground. As you guys can see, uh, I'm gonna start painting uh, parts of the character. Yeah, because why not? Let's, I'm in a yellow theme, so we're gonna go with that. All right, so I wanna get one of my graphic brushes for this step. So I'm gonna go basically with something like this. It's pushing and pull. This is why it's so much easier <laughs> than the, what, the last way, the last time I did this. There were some shoulders. All right, so kind of like that. That's fun. Uh, heck, we could even go a little up the neck, but we probably, we probably won't see most of that. So let's go in with a bit of a uh, skin tone now to make up the remainder. Probably just go with, yeah, probably just go with that color. We get a, like a little bit of a darker warm, right, into the shadow. A little more contrast. That'll look cool. Yeah, see, I just, I don't want the resolution right now to go further with the features. So I'm gonna do that after. See, good enough for now. All right, zoom out. It's not terribly offensive. We were really up in, up in that thing's grill. <laughs> now let's add, um, let's add some of the fun things. Weapons or staffs. Staff of power, right? These girls summoning giant coral demons. He's not a demon, is he? He's a good guy. He's just misunderstood. All right. Um, yeah, we're just gonna shut that off. So you can give her a little staff like that. We'll have to add a cool little shapey thing. Should be like, like almost like a she a seashell. It's a bit more natural. Yeah, see, it's like too soft in that area. That doesn't look bad. Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna do my thing. I'm gonna lock those pixels. I'm gonna get some shadow, maybe airbrush. So you just trying to sort out what that's gonna look like from a color and light perspective. If it's you know transparent at all, like we could you know maybe blow a little light like up through there, like see like in intensity wise, but again we'd have to like really go a little darker everywhere else. See, I wanted just enough overlap between that that cape slash, slash scarf thing. Like a little, like he's overlapping that. That's over, we've already talked about this. That's, that's what I'm going for. Big, medium, small. There we go. Like I could, we could like further push See like that and just make it very modestly separate. See they're getting like a little bit see darker behind there or even taking like that like so. Already can get the darker color from the shadow. See kind of like that. Just to just to kind of express some of that. Um, you could just do that with like drawing lines as well. For that, for now though, that's simple, simple enough. Um, could push that. No, I think that looks fine. So then we could add like a, a slightly other shape there, but yeah, I want that to to dive down. Reference would be good, but <laughs> I'm just bullshitting this. But like for now. For the major parts of this uh, image, and that's kind of what I want to do. I kind of like that. It's got a fun feeling. We'll figure out a way, of course, after to do a little bit of that reflection. Um, let's talk about the big dude. What would I do? 
with that big guy back there. He's already got most of the silhouette done and a lot of that's gonna happen at a later detail stage. But like for now, the biggest things I'm gonna do is like make the eyes glow. Probably gonna correct out some oddities. See like this, it's just weird. All right, so I got it this far, moving things along. Uh, some of it's kind of placeholder-like. I don't, for example, like the eyes, so I'm gonna remove that. And I honestly don't like the proportion you know, of that figure himself. I, I want to aim, you know, at least in my head, something a little more blocky, maybe even a little, a little more simple. So I like that the head kind of is here, but I might move that up. So for me, that's going to look like, all right, take this, let's put it like actually right there. And then I might just move like the whole arms out a little bit widen them up like you know 10 percent and then i'm gonna make the legs you know i'm gonna like maybe take out that whole section there that's like i just want the legs to be smaller so like in this case i think i'm gonna go like that for it and then just make like the legs kind of like something you know a little bit more like that and, and this is, I think there's a there's a greater lesson with this too. It's like, if you're not feeling something, I, I do implore you just to like, make the change. Don't, don't be lazy about it. I, I tend to be, just go in there. No matter, see like, I thought I, would, I could have been almost done with this for a little while. It's like, yeah, you know, we could just keep going with it. Yeah, I might just get some stuff back in there later. I usually don't get this fussy. <laughs> you know, with these paintings, but once in a while, there's one of these, you know, that come along that just, I do. And never equates to, like, more views or anything in particular, but it's like, you know, sometimes you just run, in, run into something kind of head-on. All right. So, with that done, I may just select that like that. I might select that like that. And I gotta... I'm going to delete it in some places, other parts, see like this. We're going to make a new wave. Pretend it's super easy, like we need one right there. Fail. Fail again. All right, we got to we got to do something. We got to send the brush the brush police over to like really help that out the brush doctor right the brush doctor Ooh, that's a happy accident there we go so you gotta make that sound effect the whoo, and that'll help when you're doing something like that nope not in that case you just like a hint of that reflection is all we need um and then we're just gonna manually do the rest of that so in this instance that means like probably take a little bit more of that all right perfect and now i'll just tidy it all up with a little bit of that blender smudger stuff so you just like where things are too perfect or i can just push things see like like that like that that's what i'm looking for all right, so I'm pretty much good with that. Uh, thank you guys for watching up to this point, and I'm just gonna end this with a little bit of an unboxing. We have a nice foam protective cover covering, and here is the tablet itself. It seems very nice. All right, so here's about you know, the build size. Pretty good underneath that. We have a few adapters. PC adapter, and then we also, it is included with a nice little stand, so I'll give this thing a shot as well. Case for the uh, pen. And then I'm sure, as these usually have it, on the other side we have 
extra nibs, wiping cloth, instructions, and the cables themselves. Now inside this box, we do have, like I thought, all the instructions they do provide, one of those nice little tablet gloves, a lot of people like, a thank you supporting card, and the instructions here, nice good old thick paper instructions. Yep, so the uh, stand pops out like that. Here's the tablet itself, so let's give this thing a seal break. Alright, so there is a nice little film over that. I'm gonna leave on for obvious reasons for now. But yeah, this thing is really lightweight. Got a good kind of build it. It's the type of plastic too. I assume this is plastic, but it it doesn't have. You don't get fingerprints on it, which is nice. I do like that. It's got like one of these little touch rings, as well as several. By several, I mean eight express keys. So yeah, overall, seems pretty cool. We're gonna go hook it up, get the drivers installed. We'll give it a shot. Um, let's see how this actually will display on there. So, yeah, the back seems, I don't know how much I, I trust the, this little thing back here, but I mean, I guess it seems fine. This is the angle I'll be drawing at, so it seems pretty good. Yeah, let's go give it a, let's go give it a whirl.